So Gostowski will send it down the way to Bernard Scott and Quan Cosby. They're very excited about the return game at Cincinnati this year, both kick and punt. This will be Scott taking it from the two. Oh, wow, he has doubled up at the 18-yard line. That is Kyle Arrington to hit him first. White was down there as well, Tracy White, and here comes Carson Palmer. He had a healthy year last year, relied heavily on that running game, but still passed for over 3,000 yards and 21 touchdowns. Whitworth will protect the blind side. Ocho Cinco one way, Owens the other, and Benson, a 1,200 yard rusher a season ago. They're gonna come out here in a shotgun. They also have Jordan Shipley, the rookie out of Texas, on a slot to the left. It's a little spread look here for the Bengals on the first snap of the season. And going for the long ball, and it is almost snatched at midfield. That was Owens who almost reeled it in. And at the last second, the rookie, the first rounder, Devin McCourty, got a hand in there and stripped it away. How about the play? Bottom of your screen, Devin McCourty. This is what you got to get used to. Receivers going backwards and catching the football, but he sticks that right hand out. Oh, boy, that's we heard it from uh, Jonathan Joseph, defensive back for the Bengals. Do not panic when the football is up in the air, long and soft, and McCourty did not. Boy, how fast did they try to get Owens involved in things in a Cincinnati uniform? And the rookie rose to the occasion. Little play action on second and ten, and there is the catch by Owens. They go to him again. He got separation from McCourty, picks up 14. Well, I think we understand now why the Bengals wanted the football to start this game. A different look, Carson Palmer, that play took a long time. Vince Wilf Wilfork with the hit, but a nice route by Terrell Owens to the outside. Sells it to the inside, and then that breakout, that's tough to cover for McCourty, especially from the off position, where you try to mirror the wide receiver as he moves around. First two snaps, Palmer looks for hey. Owens. They connect on the second one. They've got a first down at the 32. And here's Benson's first handle of the year. Gets through a little seam and out to the 38. Patrick Chung brings him down after a run of six. The New England defense. Well, you see Wilfred already in on one play. There's Warren who came over from the Raiders as a free agent. Mayo, a captain with Banta Kane. Gonna see a lot of spikes today as well. Ninkovich in the secondary. We've already called his name a couple of times. Devin McCourty. They love him around here. Rookie out of Rutgers. Second and four. Come Two on. tight ends with Gresham, the rookie, and Reggie Kelly, the veteran, who shifts to the left wing. It's back to Benson. Takes it right to the 40. Set up third and two. Let's get a little Phil Asafi. Yeah, let's talk about it. T.O. Terrell Owens with the Bengals. Jim, we said it in the open, opening. They want to get the football down the field. That's what he brings. He's a long strider. Deceptive speed. And the Bengals showed right the first two snaps of the game that they are going to try to get it down the field to Ocho Cinco and to Owens. And third and two. They'll go spread and they'll bring in Bernard Scott replacing Benson. Looking left now middle and pressure and Palmer is sacked back at the 35. He is wrapped up by Myron Pryor. Holly Banta Kane got in there too. Well, the I know this. When you talk about the Patriots defensive front, obvious passing situations, they feel like they can get to Carson Palmer. It's an aggressive offensive line, but they are not great when there are obvious passing situations. Boy, Vince Wolfrick also bursting up the middle. Had a hand on that. It's Clark Harris snapping it back to Kevin Huber. And that will not be returned. It was Brandon Tate back deep for the Patriots. Opening weekend in New England. And we'll be seeing Brady and the Patriots on the offensive attack for the first time when we come back to Foxborough. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, welcome me back to the NFL on CBS. And here come the Patriots out of the shotgun after a 36-yard punt. Got five receivers. Kevin Falk in the game as well. 
Slot to the left. Long time running back. Dangerous man in the passing game. Brady well protected by Welker. Wes Welker is back and catching in the very first play for five. Well, Tom Brady, he was in a car accident on Thursday and walked away without a scrape somehow. Hit broadside. Car was going 40 miles an hour, ran into him, but he's just fine. He was at practice that day. But it was pretty frightening, to say the least, when you see the visuals and you hear Tom talk about the sequence of events just a few blocks from his home. What a loud eruption here for Wes Welker. That catch welcoming him back. And second down is Fred Taylor. And Taylor's got a first down at the 40. But set that New England offensive line. It's a little patchwork because Logan Mankins is still out. He's not re-signed. And Kazier is out with a back injury. So Connolly at left guard and put Sebastian Vollmer over on the right side. And Welker, three straight years of at least 100 catches for over 1,000 yards each year. Well, the crowd's giving them that ovation. They know. On first and 10, Brady. Open man. And that's Aaron Hernandez, a rookie tight end inside the 20 and slashing to the right. Hernandez dragged down at the 13-yard line by Jonathan Joseph. Aaron Hernandez drafted in the fourth round out of Florida. They're thrilled about what they have at that tight end position this year, and this is one reason why. Yeah, he brings speed. Randy Moss down the middle of the field. Two defenders go with him. Nobody on Hernandez, and it looks different. You're not sure if it's a wide receiver or a tight end. Look at Randy Moss flying down the middle. And when you play this Patriots team, the fear all the defensive backs have is that 60-yard bomb in the air from Tom Brady to Randy Moss. Better pay attention to some of those other guys, too. Fred Taylor picked up a blitzing Roy Williams to help make that play happen. And here's the handle to Taylor. And he is down at the nine. Pick up a five for Freddie Taylor. The Cincinnati defense, so tough a year ago. They have back Antoine Odom off of a ruptured Achilles tendon a year ago. Now a Luka, second year player out of USC who makes so many plays in those corners. Everybody talks about so much. Joseph and Leon Hall, former first rounders. Double tight end formation, but they line them up wide to the left, including the other rookie tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Look at this formation, well, right on the it, left side. It makes them versatile. Second and five, and they got blockers in front. Welker is in for the touchdown. Wes Welker. They lined it up with the blockers in place. Trumpler and Gronkowski, and they got the ball in the hands of Welker in Cincinnati, did not know how to adjust to the moment. That was a drive that just did a little bit of everything for the Patriots. Look outside. You said it, Jim. Two tight ends. Look at the blocks. You don't have wide receivers out there who are not used to blocking. You got two tight ends and Wes Welker. Who's better at catching those screen passes and darting between people to get that yardage? What an opening drive for the Patriots. 72 yards, they drive it. Gostowski adds the extra points. Wes Welker, any questions about his readiness to return? Touchdown, 7-0 New England. Patriots score on a nine-yard touchdown pass. Brady to Welker. Only five plays to cover the 72 yards. Last time the Patriots had a meaningful game here. We're going to strike the preseason games. This staff, they were playing that wild card game against the Ravens, and they were down 24 to nothing in the first quarter. Here's Adam Jones, Pac-Man Jones, you may know him as, spinning away, and he's at the 20, and that's it. And the Ravens went on to eliminate him after that explosive start. McCourty on the tackle. Palmer and the Bengals down seven already. Okay, listen up. You want to know what it takes to have a big, built Ford tough event? Well, you got to have these bad boys. Ford F-Series, America's number one selling trucks, 33 years running. They haul more, they tow more, and do more than other trucks. And now, you save more. On F-150, get 0% financing for 60 months, plus another grand toward your trade-in, on top of what it's worth. Talk about your payload. Hurry to the built Ford tough event before these bad boys are gone. 
See them boys? They got direct TV. Been watching the Eagles game on their phones and laptops since they got here. No respect for their surroundings. Ma'am? Be right there, Shig. Here you go, fellas. Only Direct TV lets you watch your game wherever you go. Call 1 800 Direct TV. best not to think about your nightmares. It wasn't a nightmare. If something dead was evil enough, could it come back to life? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Whoever, whatever you are, go back to hell where you came from. My soul to take in 3D rated R. The Patriots showed the Bengals a lot of stuff in that first drive. Hernandez, Moss, watch them go down the field. And watch the Bengals, nobody is covering Hernandez. And I think a lot of this has to do with the fact the Patriots' personnel, formations, play selection was so diversified, the Bengals had a hard time dealing with it. And then the touchdown, the quick throw to Wes Welker. From the 20, cross over to Ocho Cinco, and he's able to weave for nine, so he's got a catch. You know, Jim, let's go back after that opening drive, you know, that so much was done by the Patriots offense. Look at Mike Zimmer. He's got them all together because you said it. The Patriots brought in big tight ends. They spread the field. Tom Brady under center, which we're going to talk about as the game goes on. Gives him more opportunities to throw the football down the field. A lot to digest for those Bengal defenders. One catch for Ocho Cinco, one for Owens. How you distribute the football, that's going to be important for Carson Palmer this year. Second and one. Look, go Benson. He goes outside and he'll lose one. A couple things that are evident to my eye. Boy, it's a, this is a quick assessment here. But just a little bit of watching the Patriots defense and their whole team, Jim. All the young guys that have come on board, what, what do you see? Speed. Yeah, I was going to say they're faster. They're faster. And you know where you're going to, we should notice it more maybe than anything else? Special teams. Just look how they got down the field on those first couple kicks. Young defensive backs, linebackers. You should, it should, you should see that in your special teams play. Third and two for the Bengals. Over the head of Daniel Coates. And for the second time, the Patriots stopped them on a third and two situation. Yeah, and I'll tell you the other thing, too, as you watch this, the Patriots are smashing the line of scrimmage. When, and when they think it's passed, they are just making contact and trying to drive the Bengals offensive lineman backwards. It's working, too. Brandon Tate dropping back deep, Kevin Huber. First punt, sailed 36 yards and out of bounds. Coming off a huge rookie year. To the 26 to Tate. And a flag thrown in at the 32. Hit by Cedric Pierman. 46 yards, this one traveled, six yard return. Well, Jim, you came through quite well today. My first question to you, like out of nowhere, you know, one I know one. You, you, you get nervous. As soon as I start asking you questions, you go, oh, my gosh, what's coming? But The old pop quiz, man, it didn't take long. There's a no foul it. for a legal block in the back. Timeout. No question about it. Like Patrick Chung has made a couple of plays today, just a second-year DB. Brady and the Patriots, they drove it down the field the first time. Their second handle coming up. From the 30, Brady. With the give to Falk, near a first, on a yard shy. Gronkowski helped to create a hole, the rookie tight end. Yeah, he sure did. And it's just so many things they can do. Gronkowski's in there, Hernandez. And look at the block up inside, Kevin Falk. 
When people see Kevin Falk in the backfield, I know what happens to the defense. They think, well, it's got to be a pass, a screen, or they're, tr they're trying to protect Tom Brady. Nice change up by the Patriots. Second and one. The running backs with the Patriots this year, the same group as the season ago. Moroni, by the way, inactive. Out with a thigh injury. And that's going to be for no gain. It'll be third and one. Another look at that touchdown to Welker under the Sims spotlight. Yeah, these are not easy to do. Wes Welker is the inside guy and the outside. Only two defenders get out there. And Tom Brady gets it out of his hand fast, but look at those blocks downfield. Usually plays executed like that that look that well or look that good. That's college football. You usually can't do that in the pros. But the Patriots one of the few teams that do it every single week, one form or another. Run it for a third straight play. And that was Sammy Morris. And I believe he got there. And they get the signal. Well, Tom Brady he mentioned Thursday, a most unusual day that began at 6.30 in the morning on his way to the facility over here involved in that uh, tra traffic accident. Thankfully, uh, Tom was okay, and the vehicle that hit him had uh, one passenger who was hurt, but everybody's going to be just fine. But Brady, later that day, signed a new contract. And the Patriots don't make a big public spectacle out of, and here he's going to go long. Zips it down the field over the head of Randy Moss. But a new contract for Brady, who said he loves it here, and he's glad to know where he's going to be for a while. Well, I think if you're a football team, Jim, there's always, you get nervous about big contracts. And even sometimes it's for Tom Brady. But when you look at him, Bob Kraft's the one that has to write those big checks. But when you talk about Tom Brady, I see no decline in him physically at all. And the other thing is, we know he's edgy, he loves to play, he's always going to compete. So it's safe when you, as safe as can be when you get a contract like that uh, to Tom Brady. And second down and 10, back to Taylor. Taylor. Not really any move, room there, but he's able to pick up five. Well, when you talk to Mr. Kraft about that deal, and again, they don't hold press conferences to announce signings or anything like that, but it's the whole package that you get when it, you get Tom Brady. Absolutely. What he believes in, the well, quality of the individual. Yeah, that, you know, how he works with the team, how he treats everybody. Listen, that, that always has something to do with contracts, especially when you're talking about big ones and when you're talking about the quarterback. But you've got to be the leader. You've got to be the focal point. Everything you can say that you want out of a quarterback, they get it from Tom Brady. Have to get past midfield for the first, and there's Moss, and that little stutter step move allowed the blocks to be formed to pick up the first down. Nice Whoa. move by Randy Moss at gains nine, and Welker is one of those who helped clear it. This is really well done. Nice job by Wes Welker, man-to-man. -man. He takes his guy up the field, then he blocks Randy Moss's cover guy. But you have to find ways. When you have a Randy Moss, you can't just say, run deep, Randy, I'll throw it. you got to find ways to get him the football. It's Taylor off the right side, breaks free and down to the 20-yard line. Freddie Taylor, 13-year man, and you'd never know it the way he's running right now. There is some burst in that step, 24 yeah, yards. There definitely is, and you look at this Bengals defense. Did they better? Somebody better say, hey, guys, the season has started because they are getting whipped. Look at these running holes. The blocking by the offensive line, we see the tight ends, Wes Welker. The game is about being physical, and we know who's the more physical team so far. With the 21, Patriots driving it again. A couple of third down conversions on this series. Now on the slant, it's Moss, and he's wrapped up right away. Just a short gainer, Jonathan Joseph holds him to five. This is some display early, and that's what you can do in the opening game of the year. Uh, both sides of the ball, you can do it, but this Patriots offense, all the formations, the different personnel, play selection, I think it's caught the Bengals a little off guard. Taylor, out of way from Pecco. 
But more Bengals converge and hold them to two. So another third down coming up for New England. And I think the Bengals, I, I was talking to a lot of the players and coaches, and, and I, never forget, I think it was Mike Zimmer, the defensive coordinator, that said it, said it to me. He goes, well, this year it's different. Can we prove people right? You know, last year we were about all about trying to prove everybody wrong, and they had an edge to them. Can you keep that edge when everybody's like going, oh, you're going to be great, you're a good guy, and sometimes you do lose it. Third and three. That's ball. And that's right through his hands. Yeah, blitz situation. They had the perfect play on Kevin Falk out of the backfield. You can tell it just barely got away from Tom Brady because it happened so quick. Dahani Jones is in pursuit, and Kevin Falk is probably going to score if he catches it cleanly. Zoltan Mesko, rookie punter, out for the hold with Gostowski in a 32-yard field goal attempt. 26 of 31 made last year, and Gostowski true on his first field goal of 2010. And it's 10-0 New England, first quarter here at Gillette. League at cbsports.com slash upgrade as Gostowski sends it down. Five yards deep, Adam Jones takes a knee. All right, Owens and Ocho Cinco. What have you seen so far, Phil? Well, I've seen that the Cincinnati Bengals are going to try to get them the football. Incorporate them early. This is, I think, always a, a great thing to do to wide receivers, running backs. Get them into the game, get them into the flow, get their confidence up, too. One catch apiece. I wanted to ask you, Jim, are you the commissioner of fantasy football? <laughs> no, oh. but I know you're in a league this year, so we'll be watching your success as Palmer hits the target for 13 yards. And that is Ocho Cinco with the catch. We talked to Palmer yesterday, Phil, and he's very aware of how he's got to keep these guys happy. Oh, well, it was really interesting. He goes, it's exciting. I mean, Nice throw and catch. You don't hear that, but I think he likes the, the tension it brings. I think when you bring Terrell Owens and Ocho Cinco on the same team, it, it brings energy, too. You know, sometimes, as long as it's the right kind of energy, that is very good for your football. They both want the football all the time, even in the warm-up throws. That's what he said as Benson runs it out to the 39. We've got our first up. To Jim Nance, Bill Sims. Oh, Nate Washington with the Titans. Here the Bengals have it. Second down. And the 39 and Benson. The ball is out. And it's recovered by New England. That's Ninkovich thinking maybe I was never down, so he takes it to the 10. I did not hear a whistle, so he did the right thing. Well, Cincinnati wants to see if Benson was down first. Well, the ninth best rushing team in the NFL last year with Cedric Benson down. It's close. Let's see. It's out. It's out. That was James Sanders and Rob Ninkovich who forced it. Nikovic had fell on it. Now let's see, did any Bengal touch him? He's surrounded by his teammates here. And one of his teammates is going, get up and run. That was Tully. But if you lay there too long, then the, the officials will assume the play is dead. That's why they can blow the whistle. So it's getting ugly here in this first quarter for Marvin Lewis's Cincinnati Bengals. Already down 10. Now cough it up. Patriots, Jim, just, Jim, just out hitting them at the line of scrimmage. Going to be a penalty against Crumpler moving early on that right side. Start, number 82, offense, five-yard penalty, remains first down. The defensive front for the New England Patriots is firing off the ball and making contact. And this reminds me of the 
Patriots from years ago. I said, How, what about this game? You got, any, you got any keys you can tell us about? Yeah, we're going to hit people. And like I said earlier, hitting people is a good thing in this league. First and 15. Brandon Tate lined up on the right side. Welker and Moss to the left. Going Tate. As the grab falls to the ground at the 29, gets the five yards back. Carl Sheffers is the referee here. And of course, one of the new things that's been discussed heavily in the preseason is where the NFL now is going to position the umpire on the snap. Well, right-handed quarterback, there he is. He'll be on the left. He'll be 12 yards behind the line of scrimmage, and he'll watch the left guard, center, right guard, right tackle. That is his position. That is Andre Wash, the umpire for this one. Second and 10, set up a little wide receiver screen. Well, there. Zigzagging just back to the line. That's it. And I'll just say this about it. Of course, there's been so much said about it. Yes, there are pros and cons to it. I thought Charlie Castley brought up one really interesting thought this morning was the defense now can yell things at the offense along the line to draw them off sides that the umpire can't hear anymore. 10 nothing at the end of one here in Foxborough. And we'll return after these messages. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Patriots owned that first quarter. Lead it 10 nothing. looking for more. What a difference from that first quarter against Baltimore when Ray Rice took that first snap and raced 80 yards for a touchdown and set the tone for that road victory in the postseason for Baltimore. Third down here, however, from the 30. Brady falled again, unable to hold on, and he's walloped by Joseph. Boy, another good game plan play by the Patriots. Tom Brady knew there was a blitz coming from the left side. He runs away from it. Look at Falk going down the field free. Oh, and, what a hit. Yeah, it is a big hit. That's just a defender coming off another receiver. That's Jonathan Joseph. Going to have a long-range field goal try by Gostowski. It'll be 47 yards. Into just a, a little bit of a breeze. Ingram on the snap. And the kick trying to get back. And it's no good. Well, that was a big save by the Bengals defense. No points off the Benson fumble. One of their most important players, maybe one of the, maybe the best on the defensive side. Jonathan Joseph makes the hit to stop the first down. Looks, you're right, Jim. It looks like he's going to cut back and doesn't. Of course, the miss will give the Cincinnati Bengals the football. At the point of the field goal try at the 37, Carson Palmer spent a great deal of time during that last break, the quarter change, huddling his whole team on the sideline and imploring his guys to let's get going. Well, you saw that graphic, 55 yards rushing for the Patriots, one for the Bengals. The Bengals are supposed to be the team that can run the football. This is their best starting point. Patriots active up front. Here they come with the blitz. Corner blitz. Benson coming right off a fumble. He's called on again for no gain. Tully Bantakane, we keep calling his name. A loss of two, actually. How about this defense? It's, it, you know, the big thing is they're just hitting. And I've said it, and if they did this pass play, getting all over Carson Palmer, and when more than one guy is tackling you. Sooner or later, something bad's going to happen. And that was a fumble by Cedric Benson. Patriots, though, just doing a lot up front, being active, being aggressive. Second, we'll call it 11. On the rolls out, able to get the ball in the hands of the rookie tight end, Jermaine Gresham, a player you really have a great deal of respect for out of Oklahoma. Yeah, I like him, but i tell you what I like more. Did you see Brandon Spikes just hit him? He start in the middle line by or one of the inside linebackers. Hit Gresham and he went right down. Gresham, yes, he's got it all, Jim. Can get down the field fast like Hernandez really from the Patriots. And a very competitive blocker for a rookie tight end. He was in All-America for the Sooners. Caught balls from Sam Bradford in his career there. 21st pick in the draft. Third down. They go back to him. 
And he is backed up after the catch. What a lick. That's Darius Butler holding him to a yard. Well, speed. It was Owens on the catch. It's evident when you watch it, Jim. Let's watch the snap of the ball. Watch this side of the defense. Everybody's moving. Uh-oh, and they're talking. And all of a sudden, we get three, four guys coming off to the offense's left side. And Carson Palmer has to throw a quick short of the first down. Boyer's third punt already. Goes out of bounds inside the 10. Did it? Did it ever? Nope, it's a touchback. Never did touch the sideline strike. It's a net of 37 yards. First and 10. And that's been Jarvis Green Ellis for four. Just play them all, Jim. Just make sure everybody gets in. That's the one thing that I've, we've said many times with Bill Belichick's football team versatile players. Just what can you do to help my football team? And they played many running backs. We've seen all the tight ends, all three of them in the game involved. Same thing, of course, goes on the defensive side. Has it on the hip. Pump fake now, airing it out for Moss. Oh, almost at the 20. Chris Crocker had a hand in there. Now that was just a tremendous play by Chris Crocker. But what a throw, what design. They're going across the field, then he turns it up. And this is what you got to worry about, these long high throws. Good job by Chris Crocker staying in there. Jonathan Penene of the Bengals is down. We'll take a break. Back in New England, and Penene walked off the field and now is walking toward the Bengals' locker room. Shaken up on that last play. Coming out around Matt Light and landed on him. Couldn't tell what happened. This is a pretty good shot. Matt Light staying with him, but also these defensive ends. You want to be a good defensive end in the NFL, you better be able to run low around the corner. But Nate was doing it that last time. Third down for New England. They've not had a three and out. Expecting blitz, they don't get it. They seal that pocket all kinds of time. There is the open man, it's Tate. And he's chased out by Johnson, and the Patriots, in fact, will pick up a new set of downs, gaining 20. Well, that's because the defensive front doesn't get to him, and it gives, you know, you got to give credit to the New England offensive line. But what they do, watch the receivers crossing. Here they come across. They're expecting man-to-man -man coverage. What's not? And then finally, Tom Brady just keeps scanning the field, finds a wide open receiver. It's a game with all that buildup about Ocho Cinco, T.O., Randy Moss, and really, to this point, it's been about everybody else. And about the way New England's been dominating. The guys like Welker in that defense. And Brady on target, as he is right here. There is Moss. Sides wipes one defender, and he's taken off. Now, on cue, Randy Moss gets away from Jonathan Joseph. If you go to blitz, Randy Moss, I know you don't look at him and you say, wow, big, strong guy, but look at this all-out blitz by the Bengals. Good read by Randy Moss and Tom Brady. He's tall and a lot stronger than you think. Gets by Joseph and gets those extra yards. 32 yards. Now Aluga showing some speed and pushing him out. I know you're saying, look at all the skill guys for the Patriots, but I'm just going back to the guys up front on both sides. That's who's, that's the difference in this game. The Patriots defensive front and offensive line. Fourth play already, at least 20 yards for New England. And a flag down as Green Ellis takes it to the 20, gains about three. Illegal shift, offense. Two players in motion did not reset prior to the snap. Five-yard penalty remains first down. No, it's been dominating so far, the performance by Belichick's side. How about that offensive line? Haven't oh. replaced Mankins, Kasher not playing today. Well, I never forget last year, I think it was last year, time goes a little too quick in life now, as we all know. But Bill Belichick said to us once, I'm not worried. We have five left tackles. In other words, he's saying, 
we got a lot of offensive linemen that are athletic, so they've lost two starters, and they fill it in. They're still getting the job done. Word on Kanene, strain hamstring. Questionable whether he'll return today. Another blitz. On first and 15, Brady pumps right, goes to the end zone. Well, sir. And it's knocked down by Leon Hall, who had tight coverage. Yeah, good job. Sometimes being bigger than a wide receiver does help. It really helps Leon Hall. Bottom of your screen in the slot. And that is a good blitz beater. That's what you call that. That's a play that the uh, Indianapolis Colts run all the time. Peyton Manning checks to it with the inside guy, runs out along the sideline. And what a play by Leon Hall. Really a good throw. Tom Brady is right on the mark with these throws, though. Second and 15. Zips it back to Moss. Taken down immediately. Gain of four. That's Joseph. Yep. Zip was the word, wasn't it, Jim? Well, he's got... Uh, he feels, it. talking about Brady and the way he's throwing the football, I think he feels better about his uh, passing this year going in than yeah. ever before. He worked on it more in the offseason. He said more throws than ever in an offseason. His mechanics, I, I think quarterbacks in the NFL do not throw enough in the offseason. And he's like a golfer. You know, it's feel. He wants to get it in that slot where he knows when he needs to, he can overpower the football. And right now, he is in that slot. He worked on the technique of keeping his left elbow down. Keeps, it, keeps his motion more compact, faster, more powerful. We'll rely on it right here. Third oh. down and chase. Now throwing on the run. And with the feet down, yes! What a catch. Falk holds on to it at the five-yard line. How good was that? He was going to throw it short, and he knew if he threw it short, it was going to be just a couple-yard gain. Watch in front. He's going to throw it here. Decides nope. He sees the defender coming up and throws a strike on the run to the outside. What a catch, what a throw. For 21, and Brady on the move. He has learned over the years to become a very good thrower on the run. Not that he runs a lot. He's hit five different receivers now for at least a 20 yard gain. He's got first and goal to go, and he fakes it to Green Ellis, and he throws incomplete. Hernandez had it. On his back, the rookie trying to make that first NFL touchdown grab. Trying to throw it to Randy Moss over the middle. Nice sell, but they got two guys. Brady could have thrown it over the top, but he didn't have the time because he's getting hit. So he back shoulders it, and Hernandez will learn that they're going to watch the films on tomorrow, and they're going to say, my gosh, he's going to catch that 100 out of 100. Hitting the ground, charged the ball out. So it's a second and goal. Across the middle this time, and that was in and out of the hands of Welker. Heath Rivers may have gotten a hand in there too. I didn't even, I was watching Ben Jarvis Green, 42, watch him sneak out. Oh, he's got it. Yes, yeah. Welker, nice job. Rivers. Rivers. Wow. Fast, athletic, dives, saves the touchdown. Tom Brady in his career has never thrown an interception in the red zone at home in a regular season game. Down in this that ain't inside right. the 20 position, never. That's unbelievable. It is. Palmer went the whole season last year without one. I went a couple games. And he's got the grab at the goal line. Is it enough? Yes, they signal. Late signal, but it's a touchdown. It's ruled a touchdown to Welker for the second time in this game. I said to Wes Welker on Friday, I said, you know, I, I, you remember we were talking about it. I said, man, you got to be, to catch the fastballs that Tom Brady throws to him, so close, fires it in there, and you never see Welker juggle the football. Any doubt about that being a cross? He broke the line. Yes, it's a touchdown. I would not challenge it if I was the Bengals. The feet were in, but did the ball cross the plane, and Lewis wants another look at it. He's challenging. Well, let me take that back. Cincinnati is challenging the ruling on the field of a touchdown. We'll review the play. 
Carl Jeffers will go under the hood. He's looking for help, Marvin Lewis, so that's why he's challenging. I think they have to piece this one together, okay? From here, it's hard to conclusively say anything. But you see the football is in the middle of his body. Yes, it's That's in his chest. It's not on his left hip. So if it's in the middle of his chest, now watch this one from behind. All right. So it's not on his left hip here. It's, in, again, right in his chest. Split the numbers. And that's a touchdown. you got to remember the tip of the football. Sorry. We'll be charged with a timeout. Touchdown confirmed. The second from Brady to Welker. You know, Jim, you bring up a good point. That's what you do. You piece it together. You can look at two different replays, put them together, and assume what happened. And I was just trying to say, if the tip of the football hits any part of that white line, it is a touchdown. Not even midway through the second quarter. And it's already 17 to nothing, Patriots. They converted three third downs on that drive. The last one, the touchdown to Welker. Tom Brady has thrown two touchdown passes to Wes Welker. And New England is up 17 to nothing, just inside nine minutes to go in the first half. I think Wes Welker just wanted to ease everybody's doubt in case you were wondering if he's back. What do you think? How screwed is the knee? I don't think there looks to be any difference from the Welker we saw all of last season. That's Bernard Scott refusing to bring it out. Take it to the 20. Well, I think the Bengals, if you look at here, 17 to nothing. You got to decide, are we going to buckle up and try to get really physical, or do you start throwing the ball to get some rhythm, try to make plays that way, and get back in the game? Jordan Shipley. The rookie wide out from Texas. He's the slot man to the right. Ball dropped by Owens. That's something that has plagued him throughout his career. Sometimes just a, almost impossible to explain drops. How about the secondary, though, for the Patriots so far? How about Devin McCourty? First player of your NFL career. Terrell Owens is going deep. What a play. On the other side, on a quick throw, Darius Butler comes off his receiver. What reaction, great tackle, young secondary, and it's early, not even a half yet. Looks like a pretty good combo to right now for the Patriots. A second down and 10. And that's Sanders dragging down the rookie tight end, Gresham, for a gain of seven. You know, if you look around the NFL, when you have two corners where you feel really good about them, in other words, when you have to, you can let them cover a guy one-on-one. -on -one. Just think about it. Just think about the numbers. How your defensive coordinator and other players on your side can free up and make plays. So if these corners for the Patriots, if they get better, if they turn out to be as good as they hope, then look out. Third and three. Ford Progress is going to have the first, the first conversion. I like what you said about McCourty's first NFL snap. Yeah, how about that? Having to break up a pass thrown to, to Owens. Yeah, that'll check it. But he, I tell you, he had a nice, solid preseason, McCourty. Shows the talent, there's no doubt. Fast, can really turn, and when he gets off stride, he's able to readjust and get right back with the receiver. That's... That's when you know you got something special at corner. A timeout call. Belichick raced down the sideline to call it. Cincinnati was going no huddle, but it took a while for them to get set. Belichick didn't like what he saw either. Coming out of a New England timeout. Homer and the Bengals. Moving the chains once on this series. Takes left, goes screen right, it's Benson. And he's got another first down out at the 41. Gain of 11. Yeah, nice play call. Anytime your offense is struggling, can't get it going, I always think it's up to the coach. Give us something that'll catch the defense by surprise to get us going. 
A lot of times that's a screen. Yeah, good check out by Carson Palmer. It looked like a blitz, either that or the Patriots. They're great actors. Quickly tosses it to Owens. Out of bounds near midfield. Now, two years ago it was an elbow injury that restricted Carson to only five games played. He went through the whole season last year, though, with torn ligaments in his left wrist that was operated on right at the end of last year after they were eliminated by the Jets in the postseason. He had all that fancy ball work. The way he had the snap, handoff, and everything with that cast on his left hand, harnessing his season last year. Now playing with freedom. Yeah, I think you said it right. Now he can carry out fakes and be more deceptive with the football. Second down and three. And that's back to T.O. for a first. Now he said the trickiest part of it was, in fact, trying to really pull off the play action. He was surprised as the season marched on that people didn't feel or detect how vulnerable he was at the ball being stripped out of his hands when he was dropping back. Yeah, it's usually NFL guys are great at that, but they never realized that he didn't have such a very good grip on it. And if he'd have been stripped, he just figured it would have been a huge problem for him, but got away with it. This is the first time, Phil, they've been across midfield. They did not have an interception last year by a linebacker. They've got Guyton now running down the sidelines, and he's taken in for a touchdown. Not a single pick by the linebacking core all of last year, and they get one in game one, and it's a pick six. Gary Guyton not even starting. Spikes, but he reads the tight end coming across and plays it perfectly. He's on the inside hip, he's underneath, so there's no way Carson Palmer is going to get the throw in there. And how about that speed from Guyton? Didn't know he could run that fast. Just an excellent job of catching it and just going all out and getting the touchdown. Guyton, who, as it turns out, did not start the game. Brandon Spikes was in there at the beginning, but Guyton, who was a starter most of last year, takes it 59 yards. They were throwing it to Gresham, and he jumped right in front and took off. It, it's just it's just perfect coverage. You like to be as a receiver, stay in front of this. And they're coming across. Oh, a little pull gets right underneath. That is really well done, and Jermaine Gresham, he's going to find out or he's finding out it's just a lot of ways you got to try to get it done because NFL linebackers, defensive backs, they've seen every route and they have a technique they like to play against everything. And that time the technique was absolutely perfect by Guy. Boy, everybody, shoot, everybody's involved in this party, Jim. They are spreading around. So many guys making plays. It is a party right now here. It is. You know, I noticed during preseason, I went, wow, the Patriots, the front. I remember thinking they're really being active. Kind of, I thought that's not like them to show a lot of stuff in the preseason. And that activity is, to me, seems like it's feeding the energy plus being physical. It's borderline greatness for them here in the first half. It comes on the very first snap of the game for Cincinnati in the opponent's territory. The first time they cross midfield, it goes the other way on the very first snap. A run back for the touchdown. Cosby to the 28. Coming up this see If you don't do as I say, I'll cut you. <laughs> I'll have to send you home to your mama. You know, Jimmy was trying for a couple of years to get one survivor, right. and he didn't pass the physical, and he worked, yeah. worked, worked out. High blood pressure working with Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> Orange 10! First down. What do you think? Of Cincinnati. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. You're not going to comment. I can't take right Terry here. down like that. Yeah. Too good a friend. And a fumble on the snap. That was.
was the exchange from Kyle Cook to well, Carson. Whatever rhythm this Bengals offense got in that last drive, which it did get a little rhythm. A couple first downs, the interception, what's it do to your confidence? What's it do to the offensive coordinator, Bob Burkowski, trying to call plays? It is another look. All the people up front moving by the Patriots. Second at 12, and it's Benson. Dragging some bodies with him out to the 33, gain of six. And this is uh, an ugly right column. Punt, punt, fumble, punt, interception. Jim, I, this is really the defense of the Patriots. It's the looks. That time they had four blitzers coming from the top. It's a good thing it was a run by the Bengals. One guy with his hand on the ground, everybody else standing up. Flags down on third down. And almost, was it? Yes, it was picked off. Well, the ball actually squirts out, goal incomplete. Check the flag. That was Butler who bobbled it. Was it offsides? Really on the field is that the pass is incomplete. Offside, number 59 defense, five yard penalty, repeat, third down. So it's going to be third and one with the five yard mark off. That was intended for Ocho Cinco. Well, and, and, you know, again, I think that, you know, Ocho Cinco landed on him, and that may have been, had the Patriots not been penalized, they might have wanted to challenge that. He might have been down with the catch. No. Got to take it all the way to the ground. There you go. Going down to the ground, catching the football. No matter what, you have to remain or contain, control that football through the whole process. Third and one. And that's good for a first. Owens. Another catch of the short variety. He may have gotten poked in the eye right there. Five catches in this one for 30 yards. He had two catches in each of the two appearances last year when he was in the Patriots division playing for the Bills. Two and two. Opening here at Foxborough as the opponent for the second straight year as Benson is off and running. He's got the 10 yard gain wrapped up by Patrick Chung. It was Whitworth who cleared the left side. Yeah, nice play call. And that's, that's all it is. You've got, look at the defenders. Tully Banta King going to the outside. The defensive lineman trying to get up the field to get to the quarterback. You still have to honor the run a little bit if you're a defender up front for the New England Patriots. It was the Bengals' longest run. Before that one, Benson had only seven carries for six yards, including a fumble as Palmer's pass deflected and incomplete. Mayo made an attempt to catch it, and Mike Wright was the one who caused all the pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, this time, he's going to throw the same route to Gresham again, and look at, oh my gosh, it's a good thing he didn't, because that football was going to be intercepted. James Sanders was going right underneath, just like Guyton for the interception. And Benz has got another big run, rips off another 10. Good job by Cedric Benson. Say he's a downhill runner is an understatement. It is full goal forward all the time for him. Third and one. Close. I'm not sure. Well, what happened is he got his feet tangled up with the offensive lineman. Right, Jim? Yeah. What are you going to do? Step back, give him a little heartbeat. Well, 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 that's well, what you would do. Well, well, I was such an adept runner in my career, so. You're a good sneaker, though. Yeah, yeah, you're you're yeah. still a good sneaker I'm guy. I'm sneaky, yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, look, he just falls right in there, and that's, look at his feet are all over theirs. 
If he'd have stepped back, then you can drive in there and you can find a spot. But I can notice it right away. Carson Palmer was kind of falling all over the feet of the offensive lineman. No matter what, they're going to go for this if they're short. Short by a chain link. Can't tell you how many times through the years we've seen that sneak like that, and you have immediately recognized the same thing. Give yeah. it a beat. Step back and then go. Of course, I'm just reciting what Dan Reeves taught me one year. Okay. I get the game plan each week, and I'm not exaggerating. There would be four different ways on the game plan how to run a sneak out of formations. What you got to do, read this defense, and I never knew it was so complicated, <laughs> but it made me appreciate it, and it's such a vital part so many times in football games. We might see it again. <laughs> Timeout New England first. The two minutes, 12 seconds to go in the first half, and at halftime, you know, Jim, I, I think I said it to you earlier. The score 24 to nothing. You're basically on the 39 yard line going in. There's no no question. Yeah, you go for it. You're, you're past the point at 24 to nothing. Uh, some of these decisions are going to be easy for the Bengals. The big question is do you quarterback sneak it or do you hand it off to Cedric Benson, who's very deep? that time he stepped back a little bit and he drives for the first down I like the two what they did they shifted the tight end back and if you're a defender when you see the wide receiver shift up there you're waiting for the receiver to come across the formation catches the ball guard just enough got the two-minute warning and a first down for Cincy well the Bengals they've had the football for about the last seven minutes if nothing else maybe you can tire this team out this defense out before you get to halftime. They need something. They need to produce something here before halftime. The Bengals shellac so far. And Palmer's pass right through the hands of Benson and Mayo for the second time on this drive. Almost came away with a pick. It's always a nervous moment for a quarterback. It's about the third or fourth time the football has gone up. And it's a little behind Cedric Benson. If you're throwing the running backs, you've got to be spot on. It's Benson. I'll tell you, they keep mentioning Patrick Chung, second year safety out of Oregon, who was a second round pick a year ago. He yep. has been on so many tackles. Yep, it's, this is, uh, I think, I heard his name a lot when I was just watching preseason football. And this is, could turn out to be something really good for the Patriots. Merriweather, such a good safety. You put a, somebody back there like him. Awesome. Palmer looking for Owens. And boy, was he covered up by McCourty. He talked to these players around New England. They'll tell you that McCourty might already be the best defensive back they've got. Well, he's. Showing pretty well here early in the year, that's for sure. Oh, nice job. Gets in position, then turns for the football, and actually gives a little jump there because he goes, wow, I had a chance to intercept it. They're going to bring out Mike Nugent, the former Jet, who's a Cincinnati area kid, going to try a 53-yarder. He made two from 50-plus in the preseason to beat out Dave Rayner for the job. Grew up as a Bengals fan from 53 yards. Nugent gets it across. His first kick is a Bengals of beauty. Points on the board at last for Cincinnati. Nugent from Centerville, Ohio. Huber on the hole. Actually, now they're telling us they're going to stretch it out and call it officially 54 yards. So he ties his career long. Well, he got it all. He flushed it. You said had a good preseason, and he just well, he, right he, down the middle. Man, he cleared it by plenty. He was injured two years ago, was Nugent, on the opening day down at Miami. We were at that game. A quad injury, and he couldn't finish the game. 
Coming up again, the Sprint Halftime Report. JB, Dan, Shannon, the Boomer, Coach Cower. All the latest scores and highlights. And that preview of Rafi Nadal. Novak Djokovic. Coming up on the Sprint Halftime Report. 12 plays, but when you add the number of plays they had on their previous possession, which was the pick run back, that unit was on the field for close to 20 plays. And, you know, that's going to be a good thing, Jim, because it just gives you experience. In other words, you get a feel for what, who you're going up against. It gets you in rhythm. It helps everybody. It helps the play caller. You, know, you look at it one way. They had it for 70 minutes and 44 seconds. They had it for some 20 plays. They still got outscored 7-3. <laughs> <laughs> going to be run back by Tate. And deep in the end zone, and he's got a little seam. And that's Nugent that comes up at the end for the last hit. 39-yard run back. Been a long time since we've seen Brady. Well, Tom Brady looking down the field, looking left, looking right. Finally, oh, there's somebody that's wide open. Pass protection has been very good by the Patriots offensive line so far. How about that? Not sacked, knocked down one time. It's ball on the screen. Nice hit by Rivers out of the 39-yard line. Picks up six. Yeah, that, the, the fact that they got a decent return to Patriots Thanks and they have one timeout, it's going to allow them just to test the water here a little bit, see if they can make a play here to get in field goal range. It was Dahani Jones actually came up with the last hit. Underneath again and shaking off two tackles. Ball spinning to the 50. Somehow escaped. Adam Jones and Brandon Johnson picks up 11. You said it last year. When's he going to slow down? When's Kevin Falk going to show some wear and tear for all the years he's blocked, run the football, and, and all the catches he's had up here? Patriots call a timeout. 34 seconds. That's their last timeout. From the 50, first down. Falk picks up the blitzer. Is it quarterback time? No, it's not complete. Ruled out. Moss was bobbling it as he was taking it to the sideline. Inside of two minutes, if it's going to be challenged, it will be upstairs. A little sprint action, 258. Z comeback. Oh, that's a good call. The ball did come out. He regripped it, and one of his feet, one foot was off the ground. Having to work those sidelines without any timeouts. Now 28 seconds. Okay, booth replay. Inside of two minutes, they're going to review it up top. They didn't believe you when they heard you say that he was bobbling. <laughs> You're just not convinced. Yeah, how about your uh, explanation over the replay? I didn't sell him well, either, huh? Well, let's see, right here, here we go. Oh, there you go. As you can see, the ball pops out. He regrips it, and I think it's going to be clear that one of his one foot was off the ground. Yep. The bobble. Okay, it's not as clear as I thought. That's the one good thing about these field turf fields. It's the right foot is the one that's in question. Now he's got it, and the right foot goes out. Here comes the bobble, regrips. I think it's pretty clear, right, Jim? I the agree. The right foot is out. I think it's got to stand as an incompletion. Unless that right foot is touching the ground where we can't see it, but. Ocho Cinco's heading in. Let's look at it one more time. Now he has it. 
And I think the right foot was off the ground when he finally secured it, and of course it landed out. Well, I say the longer here, Carl Cheffer stays underneath there is better for the Patriots because when they take too long sometimes, they're trying to decide, okay, time, and what, where did he go out of bounds? Yeah, ball spot. And this is taking a long time. This is going long enough now where you got to believe it's going to be ruled a catch. Carl Cheppers and this crew worked last year's Cincinnati game at San Diego late in the season, the first game after the Chris Henry tragedy. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. The receiver bobbled the ball. His second foot came down out of bounds after he gained control. It's an incomplete pass. It'll be second and ten. Why'd it take so long? Oh well, it'll be back at the 50. It'll be a second down with 28 seconds to go. One more time, that's just a little bit of a bobble. A little bump. Looks like uh, Jones may have pushed Tate, but the pass probably not a catchable ball. Geno Atkins had a little pressure on Brady. You know, Atkins, rookie, had an excellent preseason for the Bengals, and they're excited about him. Very active, does a good job of fighting whoever's in front of him. Gets pressure on the quarterback from the inside. Third down, they run it. And Falk takes off for a first down, and then they can't stop the clock. Down to 39. No, but they're getting where they're almost in position to try a long field goal. They don't spike it. They go sideline, get a little closer, and stepping out, only picked up about a yard or two. That's Tate with six seconds. This would be about 55 yards if he brought out Gostowski right now, maybe 56. Yeah, it's, that's makeable. His career long is 53. You know, Jim, that was interesting. Instead of spiking it, most teams would come up and spike it, then try to throw the quick out cut. Well, Tom Brady did it so fast that the throw wasn't quite on target. He did the quick out cut beforehand. Very, very clever. And that extra yard or two he just gained, who knows, could be the difference right here for Gostowski. It's going to be 56. Mesco on the hold, Jake Ingram to snap it. Gostowski's made one, missed one from 47. This has got a hook. Looked like I had enough leg. Plenty of leg, no yeah. question. Wide right this time. Hold on, everybody. They're blowing the whistle. We still got a second yeah, got on the one clock. One second, but he is—he gets it all this time, and it, it fades as he kicks it. Now here's something An interesting. Additional play will need to be run. T.O. is running up the ramp, and he's already gone onto the locker room. We saw Ocho Cinco go in, and now you have a chance for a hail mary from the 46-yard line, and it's downwind. Great point, and you are exactly you're, right. Your two because, best receivers are in the locker room. Because when you're here, you have to take this shot. You throw it into the end zone. Yeah, you're down 24 to 3. Randy Moss, by the way, has come in, and he's dropping back deep. They've got Jerome Simpson in, Jordan Shipley, Juan Cosby, but no Ocho Cinco or T.O. Carson Palmer needs to buy time. Moss, one of the defenders, back at the goal line. Here's the heave to the Whoa. goal line, and the ball was caught. Shipley has the catch, and they're out of time. How about that? How about Owens and Ocho Cinco being in the locker room? What's up with that? Hey, hey listen, I, we'll find out maybe why they went in. Ocho Cinco win, went in earlier, but... Terrell Owens had a chance to come back and get into that last play. I don't understand what the big hurry is. You're down 24 to 3. You never know. That was a 52-yard completion. New England leads it at halftime, 24 to 3. That's tight. He may break it. To the 40. To the 30. No one has an angle in him. He's at the 10, and he's taking it home. Touchdown, New England.
Brandon Tate. How about that? The kick hits the ground, squirrels to the middle, little hop by Brandon Tate, but the Bengals lose their discipline. You see guys spread across the field at different levels. So when you're at different levels, it creates an unbelievable hole. And again, we talked about it. The speed, it's better on this Patriots team. And Brandon Tate, another guy that has speed to get it done when given the opportunity. He broke one during the preseason for 97 yards and a touchdown. And now in the real season, he's got a 97-yard touchdown for real. Talk about a backbreaker to start the second half. A year ago, Brandon Tate was just coming out of the University of North Carolina as a third-round pick, and he began the season on the non-football injury list, recovering from torn knee ligaments. He opens this season, busting one free 97 yards and a touchdown. They've got a defensive touchdown and a special team score. And a touchback earned off the Gostowski kick. Well, here you go. You're Brandon Tate. What's it look like? Oh, nice little hop, and look at that hop. That little, it allowed him to really stick his right foot in the ground, and that little cut back to the left just helped create a hole, a bigger hole, I should say, on that Bengals defense. Tom Brady likes it. The rest of the team likes it. And you talk about giving energy. There was nothing more exciting than to have a special team's touchdown. That's the first one the Bengals have given up on a kick return in five years since Terrence McGee of the Bills. Dude, Patriots got to order some more footballs. They're gonna have to give out a bunch of them. Game ball. Palmer to Owens to the 29, wrapped up by McCourty. That's the sign, you know, I always see this, Jim. Your football team, how many guys can make an impact? That's what you need. To give yourself many, many chances to win. And the Patriots are showing they got some new guys around here wanting to make an impact. Forward progress to the 30, good enough for a first. Ocho Cinco to the right, Owens to the left. Benson running back middle. And ridden down by Guyton, gain of six. Patriots who came into this season way under the radar. The normal large expectations that they have to shoulder. They liked it, being an underdog for once, if you will. Yeah, it's true. You know, you, you said something to Tom Brady, I thought, the other day. You asked him about all the new guys. And what, what was his words? He just, it's kind of exciting. New faces, everybody's learning eager. The grab, Ocho Cinco has it short of the 50. And that is true. You know, Jim, there's just something about young guys on a football team, especially the right kind of young guys. And, you know, the, their energy level is always up. They're trying to impress every single day because they have nothing to go on. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it rubs off on the veterans. Well, we asked Bill Belichick from the end of last season to game one this year, what was the one thing you were trying to change the most? And he said, I wanted a more competitive team all the time. All start, all the number time. 74, yeah. offense, five-yard penalty, first count. And for Bill, you know what that means? In the classroom, in the weight room, everything you do, he wants guys to compete against each other. And when you do that, when you get that kind of atmosphere, it always carries over to the game. You know, complacency here it's just it, it's an unbelievable there of course no there's no place for it in any workforce but you talk about you can't be complacent hardly one day in the nfl first and 15 back at the 44 that's the first game penalty on cincinnati flying up to make the hit on ocho cinco is jonathan wilhite holds him to four yards And batted away by Will Hyde. 
Back-to-back -back plays made by the third-year corner out of Auburn, going to Jordan Shipley, and that was the target for Carson Palmer. Yeah, this defense, I think we've all been sitting around. We talk about some of the young guys still. Mayo in the middle. Now they have Brandon Spikes. But outside, just off McCourty, Butler, you know, Will Hyde, Chung. Merriweather still young. So can they meld as a group and work together to raise their level of play over the previous, the last year or two? Third down and 11. And Palmer, with players all around him, is able to get it away. And who has it? It looked like it was intercepted. But it could go to the Bengals. Oh, they have a Shipley who comes out with it. I think it, we're going to get a good view. This is right in front of me. The defender looks like he has hold of the football. But when they go to the ground, Shipley wrestles with him. And this Jordan uh, Shipley is some sort of scrappy player, the rookie from Texas. Look at it. He's got Merriweather on the front side, Chung behind him. Oh, I see. Oh, it is close. Wow. It looks like the Patriots landed with it. They may want to challenge. Merriweather had his hand on it first in between Shipley's. Well, it's in the books now for a first down. And Benson gains one. That whole plug right away. That's Shipley. We talked to Marvin Lewis yesterday about him. And he said he's come on so quickly. Look at this. Wow, oh, that's yeah. it. That could have been challenged. That's what I saw. I don't know if you could overturn it, though, Jim. You can make a case for either one. And second down and nine. for a minute, Palmer's throwing arm was restricted. He was able to wriggle free and pick up 19 yards. Mike Wright was the one who had a hold of him. He did. Just, just Carson Palmer, such a big guy, able to pull through it and then stands in there and throws a perfect football to Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco, I'll say this about him, he looks fast. He just went over 10,000 yards, Phil. Wow. Sixth player in the league history to do so, playing all of his career with one team. Bill Belichick said nice things about him. Says he's still got speed, runs very good routes. First down, Bengals. Protected. Gresham ridden down by Mayo at the 13. Most impressive drive of the day for Cincinnati. Good job that time by the Patriots. They made Carson Palmer throw it short. They were trying to go deep in the end zone to Ocho Cinco, but the Patriots every once in a while taking two defenders and putting them both on him at wide receiver. Vincent tiptoeing through some traffic down inside the 10. And give him four yards. Bengals getting to experience life inside the 10 for the first time, for the red zone for the first time, for that matter. Well, what you do, just keep plugging along. And it's, I know it's 31 to 3. And I think we know, we've experienced it. Score right here, you're three touchdowns down. by Wright. Now keeping the Palmer. Oh, takes a vicious hit by McCourty. Knocked out at the one. When you're a quarterback and you're running in this league. You know what defensive backs are? They're speeding bullets. And boy, really, that's the best thing to have for Carson Palmer. Usually these defensive backs, they run through your thighs. Your legs, Jim. What? <laughs> you get these I don't know how to like Charlie horses. It's, it'll hurt for about a month. They've had the football for over six and a half minutes on this drive. Pecco in the backfield as a blocker. 
for Benson. And fake Benson. Looking at Pecco. Now they go back to the end zone. And Gresham has it. The rookie has the Bengals' first touchdown of the season. Well, he made it tough. I, you know, Pecco is wide open. <laughs> I know. I'm sure Palmer thought about it a couple of times. I don't trust you, big guy. Look no. at that. Pecco says, come on, what do you want? I'm wide open. Man, he's so, you can throw a double feature on him. He's so big running out of there. But How about the nonchalance with which Gresham just snagged that one? Yeah, big, tall, long arms. That's why he was a high first rounder. Man who caught in his last 28 games in a Sooner uniform had 25 touchdowns. One for one here in his pro career. And the extra yeah. point by Nugent is good. 12 play drive covered 80 yards just inside of seven minutes took and Cincinnati has something on the board with a touchdown. Let's see if they send it down to Tate again. They do. And he's going to come on out. The 20. Got a nice speedy run back near the 30. They give him 32 yards on the return. Break in the action, mid-third, 31-10. Don't talk to me about time of possession being a key. They've had it for 31 of the last 37 plays, the Bengals. They've been outscored 14 to 10. What's the word? Statistics in football, they can lie. Yep, right there. It's down, they fake the end around, and they go to the short pass to Taylor. Echo. It's not too late to play NFL.com's all-new fantasy football game, the first and only game with video. It's free and it's easy to play. Sign up today. NFL.com slash fantasy. How many fantasy leagues you in though? Really? Tell Just me the three. one with you. No, no. And I can't wait till our matchup. There's no way. Yep. Take you down. You get in like six of them because you know sooner or later you'll be, you'll be well in one of them. Second and eleven. And that's Falk out to the 30, gets back a yard lost and uh, on one, one to spare. So third and nine coming up for the Pats. I just want to finish that thought. You get in six leagues when you do well in no, one. No, that's the no, only no. one we hear about. No. The only one I'm in with you. We did see Rivers uh, hobble off the field off that uh, Cincinnati defense. And Taylor getting a 24-yard run in that mix. Walker with two touchdowns, four catches overall, third and eight. Oh, good pass, that's Crumpler. And the former Falcon and Titan. There is a flag down, however, back in the area holding. holding. Yep. Number 67, offense, 10 yard penalty, repeat third down. Take away the Crumpler catch. Center, Dan Copen. Uh, he just gets tripped. He trips on the right guard, makes him fall, and then he, the grabbing of the jersey makes him pull down the defender. Stephen Neal has also come out. I thought I saw him laying on the ground. Ryan Wendell now takes his place in the lineup. They got three backups on the offensive front. Tate. He slammed at the 30. And you get to see the rookie punter out of Michigan for the first time. Well, he's been out there on holds, but he hasn't punted to this point. He's never had a chance to get rid of his free game jitters. He's been <laughs> up there. Oh my gosh. Zoltan Mesko, born in Romania. Belichick said he was the best punter in the draft, and he snagged him in the fifth round. Funny, all the other things he said, too, right? Good athlete, good hands. Just a even punter. Adam Jones not going to field this one. And a generous rollout for Mesco. 44 yards officially. 31-10, see if Palmer can drive him down the field again like he did the last time. And the Patriots dominating at 31 to 10, although the Bengals came to life the last time they had it, and they'll begin this series at the 27. They drove 80 yards 
the last time on the field. And almost intercepted. That was Brandon Spikes getting his hands on it. Brandon Spikes, big draft pick from Florida, really good at coming up and fighting linemen and stopping the run. But what helps him survive in the pass game is the fact that he just, he's a, he knows football. Very instinctive. And those instincts get him in position to make plays like he almost made on an interception. Bernard Scott is the running back, and Palmer swings it over to the second-year man, Madeline Christian. I thought we might see more of Scott here in this game. We talked to Marvin Lewis about him yesterday. So impressed by yep. his development and his explosiveness. Well, not only them, everybody we talked to. Yeah, Bill Belichick. Oh, my gosh, yeah. the Patriots. You know, yep. Bernard Scott thinking about what he would, he can do fast, can run inside, outside, catch it, return. He does it all. You need guys to take ordinary plays and make something special out of it. Lewis was impressed by how he's picked up on his pass protection, which he'll be called on here on third and eight. And a catch for the first down. It's Terrell Owens for 13. I say wow, because Carson Palmer can stand above the crowd and just throw arrows into receivers. Under pressure, blitz. Six foot Relay. five and plays like he's six eight. Rounds. Owens just went over 15,000 career receiving yards. He, along with Jerry Rice and Isaac Bruce, the only others to ever cross that barrier of 15,000. Here is Scott. That's the speed we're talking about. As he gets near the 50. I gotta tell you, you know, just not to take away from Scott, but you look at Owens and Ocho Cinco. But when you watch them run, if you didn't know they were as old as they are and had all this uh, experience, you'd go, well, these are two pretty fast-looking rookies. And they run well. Terrell Owens is running well. Owens is 36. Ocho Cinco was 32. You don't spy many receivers in the league these days north of 30. That tells you it's talent and hard work. Palmer. That one behind Owens. Got a little update on their play today. Well, uh, there's one thing you can say. The Bengals have done a good job incorpor incorporating them into the game plan. Lots of different routes, looks, allowing them both to go deep, catch short passes. Well designed. Third and two. You got to think it's four down territory anyway, down 31 to 10. Juan Cosby and Jordan Shipley in the game, and there's Scott Easley getting the first and a shovel pass to the 45. And just another way to run the draw play on third and two, knowing if it doesn't gain yards, they'll probably go for it on fourth. It's a big drive. See what, it'll get the crowd back into this game if the Bengals take this down and score. Yeah, and he led Shipley too much. Last drive, 12 plays, Palmer directed. Yeah, he did it all. Walked through a sack, then the scramble, which he did well last year. Once they get down inside the 20, Carson Palmer knows running them with the football as a quarterback is a big deal and did a good job running on that last scoring drive. Ninkovich, if he wasn't on Carson Palmer last time, that was going to be a big completion. Bernard Scott takes off a hit and runs for about five. He had uh, James Sanders by the ankles, had him by the ankles, and able to shrug it off and get it near the 40. Well, what the Bengals have on their side right now, Jim, is what? Is the fact that they're running a lot of plays since the, the end of the second quarter to now. So the defense and what happens when you run those plays, we talked about it. Rhythm, momentum, play calling, but more than anything, you hope and it usually does tire out the big guys rushing the passer. Now the crowd rises to its feet. Cedric Benson replaces Scott on third and five from the 40. Blitz complete. Ocho Cinco, how about forward progress? What will they do? He's gonna be short, but he went, he knew it was one-on-one -on -one coverage, and I think he did the right thing, even though he comes up short, Jim. He was going for the big play. 
Was there Butler on the coverage? Well, let's see. They mark him. Looks like about a half yard shy. Yeah, it's a good mark. I know he caught it past the line, but he was turning and coming back, trying to make a play out of it. So Marvin Lewis is telling him that. Fourth down. Fourth down and about a foot. Palmer was able to sneak for a first on a fourth down situation in the first half. Going to rely on the running back. This time Benson bounces off his own man. And it looks like he has it. Yeah, he got it. He definitely got past the 35-yard line. First, he ran into his own player right there. Right into the back of Nate Livings. Well, it's one thing I always, I kind of believe in it too. When they're trying to get that little tiny game, like a half a yard or so, when you pull linemen, they get in the way because everybody just fires off and goes towards the middle. Bengals ninth first down picked up in this quarter. That's assuming that this doesn't get stretched out too far. And that is, in fact, number nine, plus 124 total yards of offense in the third. Well, how about that? Now gaining the Patriots. Well, interception return and kick return. Get back to Scott in the backfield. Yeah, you could tell Jim Bernard Scott, you know, it makes you think, why didn't we see him a little bit or see him more earlier? You see him right here. Cuts to the 28. Well, you give him just a little bit of time, get to the legs going and churning. Get there in a hurry with six yards this time. Yeah, guys like him are so valuable in this league now. And you know, what, what round was he drafted in? Six, sixth round last year. Yeah, you know why? Because he went to Abilene Christian. When you go to small schools, even though you got third or fourth round talent, they knocked you down. Johnny Knox was a teammate of his, the Chicago receiver. Homer going to Ocho Cinco, and he has it for the touchdown. Beautiful grab by Chad. And he got past Darius Butler for the score. Yeah, there, well, we talked about the speed. It's still there. And boy, did he make a nice move at the line of scrimmage, turned it on, and what a throw by Carson Palmer. 28 yards. And he has just tied Carl Pickens' team record with a 63rd career touchdown. Nice shake at the line of scrimmage, and more than anything, used his hands to knock off Butler's hands, which really freed him up. Ties the franchise reception touchdown record. He has virtually every other mark. Catches, receiving yards. Cincinnati's run 24 plays in this quarter versus only three by the Patriots. And they've gone down the field the last two times for touchdowns. Another 12-play series for the Bengals. And since the uh, Patriots returned the second half kick for a touchdown, it's like everything has gone flat for New England. This is Tate. This time. Back again to call it next week. Here's what we're talking about. 24 snaps to three in the quarter. Five wide receivers. Tate is going to use a drive starter. There's Welker, and that's a first down. And what do they do? Spread the field, open up the middle, and let Wes Welker run an option route. And that's going to close out the third quarter. The Welker grab for a first. 31-17 Patriots. Back after this message and a word from your local station. And there you see the quarter-by-quarter -quarter scoring. Jim Nanceville Sims to call it. Happy to be here. Happy with us. That's Moss for 11. Brady's over 200 now. Give him 210 on the game. Yeah, I love that play. I really do. That was only for nine yards. They just sell it out with the run. Nice play fake, and it just gets the defense up. And look at the space that Randy Moss has, and he goes under control. Well done.
And it, the Bengals defense, since emergency, has to be there. Really, you look at it, a field goal, that's three scores. Tough to come back, almost no chance. Rivers, who was banged up earlier, the linebacker is back in there. And that tech will hold on to Taylor as the Patriots have the first down at the 45. Settling things down, getting some snaps, trying to get some rhythm going as this offense has been non-existent. On the field for only one series of three and out before this one. You know, that's the, the good thing about this offense, Jim, is that the Patriots can do so many things. They have what I call a lot of drive starters. It can be screens, spread the field, which we saw to Wes Welker, play action to Randy Moss. Everybody in the league doesn't have that. They've had a lot of different ways to score in this one, the traditional way, if you will. Brady to Welker a couple of times. Then a pick and a run back. Defensive touchdown. Guyton. Special team score. Tate breaking at 97, coming out of the blocker to start the third. And then two Palmer touchdown passes. Taking it from 28 down to 14. Timeout, Brady. 13 minutes left in this one. Patriots, 31-17. Back with the Patriots, second down and nine from the 45. Big fake by Brady. Steps over, away from the pressure. And he gets it to Taylor, takes it across midfield to the 40. -year. You look at the backs for New England. And again, Maroney's inactive today with an injury. Same running backs they had last year with Tate, Green Ellis, and Falk. And uh, Freddie Taylor, look at the age. Three of the oldest running backs in the league. Not a single change this year. Slow to get up is on Algie Crumpler. We'll take a break here from Gillette. Algie Crumpler jogged off the field. There he is. Big third down coming up in this one. It is. Big third down. Time on the clock. Two score down. Two scores down, the Bengals need to stop. They don't get it. It's Welker. Who else? And they knew them in the clutch. She's there for 11. Down to the 37. Patriots trying to win on opening day. Week one for the seventh consecutive year. Second longest streak they have going right now in the league. Second only to Pittsburgh, who has one more. Now I think the Bengals said it right when they were talking about Wes Welker. He doesn't do double moves. He does triple moves. And he's so quick, so fast, in a very confined little area. And they have so many plays for him, tough to stop. They left the middle far. That was well designed. They were trying to go deep. Bengals weren't full. It's a fake screen to Wes Welker. Trying to throw it deep down the left sideline. They're going to fake it to Wes Welker. He's going to look deep. Nope. Go right back to the dump. That's a new one. I haven't seen that. Or if I did, I forgot it. <laughs> no, I don't think you've seen it. I'll give you that. Second down and three, and Taylor. Oh, he's going to take a big loss. And he fights so hard to get back to the 31. He broke away from Antoine Odom, and Jonathan Joseph eventually wrapped him up. Odom, who uh, had that incredible start last year, with eight sacks in the first five games before he ruptured his Achilles tendon. Well, what happened is a, it's a play to the outside. Matt Light blocks him outside, but allows him to come in. He's quick enough to make that play. And Antoine Odom, this has not been a factor in this game. You haven't even said his name, I don't think, until then. Yeah, he limps off after being in on that last play for a while. Third down again for New England. Pick up the blitz. They go back to Welker. Picks up another third down conversion. And pushed out by Leon Hall. What I see a minute ago, I haven't seen that one before. Another little look. Three receivers all together. Wes Welker on the inside. Fakes like he's going across. And look what it does to the defender. 
because he runs so many routes short and across. You try to get in front of him, then he stops and comes back outside. Uh, that was clever. Welker did not have a touchdown catch the last nine games last year of the regular season, but he had two in the first half today. He's converted three times on third down. Green Ellis swamped by Rivers at the 15. Well, I give him a lot of credit. Tom Brady a lot of credit, but I give the coaches a lot too because it, it takes up some great design to do that. Green Ellis goes outside. Tackled by Roy Williams at the eight. Bill Belichick saying that Green Ellis has got a lot of reps, a lot of time during the preseason, made a lot of improvements. Well, you understand why. Repetitions, do it the right way, makes you better. You said it. Of the running backs, the same group as last year. Nobody in this league stands pat. But they asked their running backs to do a lot. Especially, they all have to block for each other. They got to run the football. They got to be able to block and pass protection. And of course, better play a little, play, better play, play pretty well on special teams too. And a first and goal to go from the eight. Green Ellis. There he is in traffic down to the one, maybe the two. Oh, what a drive by the Patriots. What a drive. And that right side of the offensive line, Sneal, Copeland, double team. Oh, Conley comes from the back side and still gets the block, just makes contact and knocks his man to the ground. Got to give Bill O'Brien calls the plays. Got to give him a lot of credit. He is oh, a great game today. It's Green Ellis. Couples down closer to the goal line, about halfway there. A drive that's now approaching seven minutes. Honey Jones on the tackle. A, you said his name a lot today. He's flying around still. Been in the league for quite a few years. Middle linebacker. Mike Zimmer, D coordinator, has nothing but positive things to say about him. They have feasted on third down on this drive. Dan Connolly, the fullback, in front of Green Ellis. The fake, the Brady throw, back to the end zone, and the catch by the rookie, Rob Gronkowski, for the touchdown. How about that catch? He made that look awfully, e awfully easy, didn't he? Well, he can do it all. He's been doing that during the preseason. Had one preseason game with a couple of touchdown grabs. Top of your screen, quick release, goes up. Oh, boy, catches it with both hands against the body. Six foot seven and, and, and nimble. Can turn his body. He just had a terrific preseason and carried it over. And, Became effective in the opening game, too. Got for 741 the Patriots over a half a quarter. 14 plays to the put away touchdown. Well, the rookie has a touchdown catch. A rookie tight end on each side with a score today. Gronkowski for the Patriots. Brady's third touchdown toss of the game. In fact, Tom has completed his last 10 throws. Wow. Seven forty-one to go in this one. Adam Jones from the six. Beats a wall at the 23. Brady to Gronkowski, and it's back up to a 21-point margin. After that last touchdown, here's Tom Brady and his quarterback coach, Bill O'Brien, with the interpretation by Phil Simms. That's it. You call him, I'll throw him. That way, yeah, you call him, yeah, you the man. No, you the man. That's it. <laughs> How was that? That's pretty good. Oh, you can imagine. Hey, come on. I'll tell you, you talk about a match made man. Bill O'Brien, Tom Brady, and Bill Belichick, they're never happy. They're going to get this game is over, and they're going to go. Yeah, I know. They should have scored more and missed that. Hey, hey, look, that's, that's what it's all about. Don't be happy. Keep striving. Mayo tackles Gresham after uh, the catch. Ends up in a loss. Well, maybe, maybe a yard or two. You know, I thought that. Oh, 
<laughs> got good reason to today. But you know it is true. You know, come on. We were Tom Brady, and look, it's all positive. And this is what I think you have to kind of be as an NFL quarterback. I mean, it's it's always something, right? Okay, you know, we're not out there with you, Tom. You don't have to yell at us. He's still out there warming up. Oh, yeah, he's a great warm-up guy, too. Third and long. Never be happy, though. It's just, that's the only kind of you coach I ever had. You that, don't you? Well, that's the only kind of coach I ever had from high school all the way through. Third and 12. Oh, yeah, good catch. So Cinco has the first down at the 47. I think the one thing, well, the Bengals, most of all, are going to be so disappointed in their defense today. Boy, good rip and pull by Chad Ochocinco. But Carson Palmer is just dead on accurate when given time. Carol Owens and Ochocinco have both been involved. And picked up 25. And a first down. Incomplete. After that previous play, which was Cinco. <laughs> I can say it right now. Belichick wasn't ready for that, whatever it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a little, little bit of a, like a jolt, flinch. About the 49. Mentioned that uh, Bernard Scott's out of Abilene Christian and uh, Jordan Shipley, rookie receiver on this team. His father, Bob Shipley, played at Abilene Christian. Yep. Head football coach of Brownwood High School down in Texas, one of those Friday Night Lights kind of schools down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Gordon Woods, the legendary high school football coach of that school. Bill Parcells always used to talk about it. Third down and back of the way. That was uh, Owens, the intended target, and Butler was able to get a couple of hands on it. Swatted away. Yeah, beautiful play, excellent throw. Contacted the line of scrimmage by Darius Butler and. Runs and look, look at that last second leap. A lot of good plays by the secondary of the Patriots today. They've given up some, of course. Talented thrower and receivers. And fourth down with 5.59 remaining. Ocho Cinco holds on. What a catch. Yeah. yeah, well, Ocho Cinco is he arguably is. the best third down receiver in the league. He's converted now 61 of his last 62 third down conversions to first downs. And actually, the only time he missed his last 62 third down catches, Ed Reed stripped it from him after he'd already had enough yardage for a first. And that's Scott for a hard earned two. Sure. Palmer now slings it and again what a pair of hands by Ocho Cinco. I'll tell you why, just after watching the Patriots today, I'm, I'm even more anxious to watch the game next week now. It's gonna be a good one. That's next Sunday. Here on CBS. First down with 450 to play. Ocho Cinco putting up some numbers on this drive alone. Plus, he's got a touchdown catch in the quarter, and he goes over and referees Gresham and Chung. Hey, watch some of those catches. Just catch them so clean, so perfect. Hey, well, I'm surprised. Just look at the total yardage for his career. Look at this, 11 for 143 and a touchdown. He Actually, his first ever game as a Bengal was the opener here. Cincinnati at New England back in 01 when the rookie Chad Johnson did not have a catch that day. He's got four grabs on this drive alone for 52 yards. Second down throw, and there's no one down there but a pair of Patriots. You know, you think back to years ago, Jim, Carson Palmer, their offense, the passing game was just 
it was borderline spectacular. And then it just slowly eroded until what we saw last year, where, where they can, when they completed a few passes, you're like, wow, that's pretty good. There's no explosion in the offense, but all the weapons with Gresham, Jordan Shipley, Tara Owens now. Of course, Bernard Scott becoming a factor too. They got a lot of guys that can make plays. Third and three, snapping it from the 20. There is Shipley. Shipley's down to the six. Will Height throws him down. I wonder if Shipley was standing on the sidelines today watching Wes Welker going, wow, so that's how it's done. Yeah. And, and design some of those plays for me. Yeah. Well, once you get a few pelts, maybe they can design some plays for you. Looks like he could do it, too. They say the knee was down. Had a knee down, it's at the one. Gresham trying to reach across for his second touchdown. Timeout Cincinnati. Good looking prospect right here. Ooh, Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, that's one where instead of calling a timeout, you go ahead and take the challenge. challenge you lose it, it's a timeout, right? Yeah, but that, that's easy to say. They weren't thinking that way. They're managing the game quick, faster or quicker than we are. Carson Palmer's over 300 yards for the game. First time ever in a season Here we go. Opener. Watch. Does he hit? Hand doesn't count. Elbow, oh, yeah, the elbow. elbow. There we go. Okay. We're ready to second guess the officials. We've been waiting for eight months to do that <laughs> since Miami on February 7th. No, good job. Very clean and efficient game today, no question. Palmer, the first Bengal to throw for 300 yards in a season opener hey. since Ken Anderson in 84. I guess Boomer never did it. 27,000 career yards, though. Here's Benson. Let the ball come out. One Patriot. All right, calling the flag here. Offside, number 99, defense. Lined up in the neutral zone, half the distance to the goal. Repeat second down. There you go. Well, you know, I gotta tell you, oh my gosh. The hand, he's completely across the neutral zone. But that that penalty's not called enough, probably. So many guys line up in the neutral zone and get away with it. Hecko in the backfield. Lead blocker for Benson. He gets it. Benson is in for the touchdown. I'll give the Bengals some credit here because they were abysmal here for the first two quarters and a kick down 31 to 3. Oh, yeah, they, they didn't pack it in at that point, though. They finally got things going and put together three nice drives. The offensive side of the football is going to go back and go, wow, we did some good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Executed a tremendous amount of plays. I don't know what's good on the defensive side. Nugent takes on another point. 38-24, Patriots. Well, what we're going to have here in this game, the Cincinnati Bengals, they're on the sideline right now with Darren Simmons, special teams coach. They got an onside kick. So the Patriots, 10 guys up, the all-hands team. Kind of an honor to be on the all-hands team. The coach's way of telling you that we think you're a pretty good athlete. So much since we last worked the game together, discussed about the onside kick, the surprise one made such a big difference oh. in the Super Bowl. Yeah. And Basket failed to hold on to it for the Colts. Oh. Uh, the Colts did not come close to traveling the necessary 10 yards. Illegal touching by the kicking team. Pretty good pair of hands by Michael Johnson. Cincinnati. But 
It wasn't where he needed to be. Illegal touching of the kick by the kicking team player number 93. The result of the play is that New England will take possession of the ball at the spot of that touching, first right. and 10. Well, you know, Jim, uh, there's a big week coming up for you, in case you didn't know. On Tuesday, Jim Nance celebrates his 25th <laughs> anniversary of joining CBS Sports, September 14th, 1985. Wow. How about that? I, I mean, I've years for you. I feel like um, I've just been blindsided. I didn't know where you were going with that. You got a little nervous. Yeah, I did, <laughs> man. Feel my hands. Uh, no. Where are you going? Thank you. That was 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. Thank you for that, partner. Enjoyed spending many of them with you. I got another surprise for you here. Uh oh. Miss Welker. How about, about your nine? First? So you're trying to tell me you were almost at a loss for words when you got over there. <laughs> Had to make up for it for 25 years. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Wow. You know, earlier that week, um, how do you know? You're 20, you're in your mid-20s, and you get a phone call. You're at Giant Stadium working for the CBS station out in Salt Lake City, KSL, and I get a phone call. Somebody says, grab the phone. We didn't have cell phones back then, so I went to this phone that was on the wall on the ramp there at Giant Stadium, and I called Ted Shaker, executive producer at CBS, and he said, Jim, welcome to CBS Sports. Yeah, you have that phone. How lucky can you get? You have that phone. Bill Squires, who was running the middle, uh, gave it I to you. Did. I couldn't believe it. Arnold Palmer, in fact, in the end, was the one who presented it to me this year down in Salisbury, North Carolina. It was wow. that talk about being blindsided. Anyway, back to this one with second down from the 23-yard line. Well, that's what we're here for, the blindside. Yeah, you did a good job. Pick me up. And Taylor escapes a couple of hits and has the first down. I think the Patriots, Jim, just to round this game up, when it's over, their offense, they're going to be very happy with, I, I'd say kind of a new offense, a different look. The tight end's involved a little more. Uh, you know, they got so many variables, and and it's it's like they rethought what they want to be on the offensive side, and, boy, all that planning during the offseason, mini camps, OTAs, whatever, you, training camp, all worth it because a spectacular performance really by the offense today. Eight yards picked up by Taylor, plus he stayed inbounds. Taylor had a leg injury, really curtail his uh, first year as a Patriot last year. I mean, there have been a couple of glimpses here of what looks like the old Fred uh, Taylor, the Taylor of the past in all those years at Jacksonville where he's set the Jacksonville career rushing mark. But it's another Brady big day here, three touchdown tosses. That just comes to it, as much as we he said, oh, I just said it changes, but it's Brady, Wes Welker, but Gronkowski, nice catch. Some good running, really so many people on the offensive side. And the offensive line, like you said, two new starters or two different guys in there, and at one time, three today, they just had a special day too. Today is having a special day as Arian Foster of the Houston Texans just scored his third touchdown of the game. They're just driving it right down the throats of the Colts who are going to be coming here to Foxborough in November. Wow. 231 yards by Foster on the ground today. Well, Jim, what they worked on in Houston during training camp this year was one thing. You know what that was? Running the football. Yeah, well, everybody thought it was going to be all about Shaw and Andre start, Johnson. Number 87, offense, five-yard penalty, second down. Foster, who finished so strong at the end of last season, including a 100-yard performance against the Patriots in the final week of the regular season. Right. 231 and three touchdowns. Well, I was down there in preseason, and the first thing I noticed when I went to watch practice, I, you know, and I said it when I did the game, wow, they look bigger, stronger, and Gary Kubiak said we wore pads a lot more and we hit much more than ever before. So all that, when you put it all together, your running game better improve. And what a way to start the season showing it. 208. Taylor. Down to the 14. And we have reached the two-minute warning here in Foxborough. 38-24, Patriots. 
final two minutes to play for the Patriots and the Bengals. They have not, talking about the Patriots, allowed a sack. They have not had a giveaway. Brady's having monster numbers again. Defensive touchdown, special teams touchdown. Pretty impressive start here for the season, huh? Good stuff, huh? I mean, it really is. An impressive showing by the Patriots. And uh, I think I said this to you last year. Just got to be careful. Let's go over evaluate week one. Yep. Bengals lost, of course, that heartbreaker last year, week one, when Brandon Stokely was second to go, went 80-something yards to beat him. Yes. And you would have thought, boy, how do the Bengals recover from that? They went up to Green Bay week two and one. They won the next four games almost like in comeback fashion. Fourth down, and New England goes shotgun. From the seven. Gonna throw it. Incomplete. That surprise you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that'll be an interesting game too. So there's some what you want to call some real. What's the word for it? Bit, not bit, yeah, bit of rivalries. The Jets. I think it's been clearly stated the feelings each of them have for each other. Of course, that Baltimore playoff loss, that's going to make it a big game up here no matter what. Palmer standing on the goal line. Over the head, aggression. And what about the Bengals? What do they do? They've got Baltimore. Right on the screen, Scott. And a chance to run a little bit out to the 17. Great to be back with our team on the NFL and CBS, including executive producer Sean McManus, vice president of production, Harold Bryant, coordinating producer of the NFL, and our game producer, as always, the one and only Lance Barrow. The game directed by Mike Arnold, coordinating producer Steve Karasek, their ship late. Associate directors of today's game, Corey Fishman and Andy Friedman. And our broadcast Andy. associates, Todd Carrick, and a day Ellis, technical manager Pete Melander, Jonas Einstein, who just won the uh, Charles D'Onofrio D'Onofrio Award, our technical director, audio supervisor is Ed Solters. Stats provided by Ethan Cooperson, Tom Borstein. Spotter is Tommy Spencer, our editorial consultant, Tommy. Great Tommy Spencer. Our field stage manager, Jimmy Hatter. Ed Soltis down there mixing it all up. Kevin Kale up here managing everything in the booth. And it's good to have the whole team intact from Super Bowl 44. Shoot, that's like uh, NFL coaching staff, man. We got a lot of people. So Meriwether levels Ocho Cinco, comes up smiling. Palmer with 345 passing yards, and Ocho Cinco has 159 of them. in the game. Bernard Scott adding eight yards to his total. One of Bill's boys give him a congratulatory handshake. Marvin Lewis comes over to add his congratulations. Owens had seven catches, 53 yards. Brady today threw for 258, three touchdowns. 38-24 is the final score. NFL today is coming up after the break. For Phil, this is Jim Nance saying so long.